Hi, uh, this is going to be a, a short one in the FAQ series because it's not one of these that, like the last one that we did on collapsed folders, that uh, comes up regularly, I mean, two or three a week, where people get a fright when they open up their Invivo because they think their data is gone. And it's to do with this welcome screen here, which is the screen you would see if you just launched in vivo without opening a file. If you just, you know, you can double click in your project file and it'll launch in vivo and open the file, just like Word. And in fact, in vivo works the same way as Word in that respect. Um, but you can also just open in vivo and it's like having in vivo open, but no file running, no project open. And the, the problem that I want to flag up to you are these links here to recent projects files and they're generated automatically by the software so when you open and close a file a, a link is generated a hyperlink is generated automatically to that file regardless of where the file is what folder it's in um, <clears throat> or what it's called and you can have if i open up a, a, another file say my backup I have two files here called exploring change because they're two different files. So it will create these links automatically. Now that works exactly the same way as Word, Microsoft Excel. You know, when you open up an Excel document or a Word document, you can see recently opened files. So that's the same concept. It's identical. I think the, the reason people get confused and we get so many emails about this and the email typically is I've just clicked on this link and my data's gone. I'll get a message saying my data's not there. So. You know, if I click on a link and the file isn't there, I'm going to get this message saying the file no longer exists. The, it, but it does, it does exist. It's just been repositioned, renamed or, you know, moved. So it does exist, but the link no longer exists. So you get this message and then you're emailing me in a heart attack, having a heart attack. So I understand the fright that people get when they get that message. You can just remove and you can clear this list on a regular basis if you want. If you do ever want to clear that list, if you do file options, it will, sorry, it will clear that list. And you can just take this box, clear recent project list, and it's gone. I think the problem why people get confused about it is because I, I think a lot of people have trouble visualizing where their data actually is in vivo. Some some people seem to think it's in the cloud or it's in some kind of an Envivo account, maybe in the cloud, maybe in the software itself, like embedded into the software some way. But of course it isn't. It's it's none of those things. It's a project file. It's exactly the same as Word when you create a Word file. You're only using the software to open and close the file and use the functions. You're not actually, the data is in the project file. So your project file will be in your documents folder by default. That's where it will go unless you tell it to go somewhere else. And it's going to look like this. It's going to have a round blue icon. It's got the project name and the extension .nvp for in vivo project. It will have a black icon and the extension .nvpx if it's a Mac file. But all of the concepts I'm talking to you about today, whether it's the temporary links or where your data is, are out of access it. They're exactly the same in Windows and Mac. There is no difference. They're exactly the same in version 12, version 2020, and version 14 on both operating systems. Identical. That's all you need to know, that your file is in there in your documents folder. I would suggest that's where you leave it. It's where Invivo likes to be. It's a nice, simple path. Um, I would suggest if you're using, if you're using a, a cloud server, my advice would be, you know, like, a, like OneDrive or Google Drive. And if that folder is syncing, then don't open your Invivo project file in that folder. Because when you open, when you use, you know, the likes of OneDrive, the software in the cloud is trying to constantly grab the file to, um, to sync it. But the file is open and it's exposed and vulnerable. And that can cause Invivo to crash or do some odd things. So it's better if you're putting the Invivo project file when you're going to open it into an, on a non-syncing folder somewhere on your computer and back it up to the cloud. Now that can be OneDrive, can be Google Drive, can be Dropbox or whatever cloud server you're using that I would say you would put the backup in there clearly named. 
so we don't confuse it with the main file because we're never going to open this back up, hopefully. And it's going to be in that folder with, the, I would suggest also with the backup in the name. And therefore, you're never going to confuse a file or folder level which file is which. And I would suggest at the end of every session, you make a backup and overwrite the previous day's file. Don't be one of these people who have a file for every day with today's date on it. You can see the date there. You don't need to put the date on it, the date it was last modified. But don't do that because these files can be quite big and you'll end up with a lot of files, which will take up a lot of space on your hard drive, on your OneDrive or your cloud folder. And if you ever need a backup, the one you're going to need is the one that's in your, the most recent one. That's the one you're going to want to restore. It's not going to be one from six months ago. So that would be my advice. Store it in your documents folder, back up to the cloud. That's what it looks like. And if you click on the links and get that message, then it doesn't mean your data is gone. However, the, another way of just circumventing those links altogether is to just click open other project and then browse. You can go to your documents folder, you can pick up your file and you can open it and it will open up and you're back in business. So that would be my advice. Um, there, there's a file open and when I close now, there will be a link to that file to that file. There it is. So if any of that's unclear, let me ping us an email. Um, if you think that you that video is helpful, then please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next FAQ. Hopefully we're not too stressed out because you thought you lost your data.